Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Saint Paul. <laughs> this little guy just woke up just in time, right when I was done pumping. He, oh, you guys, he's having trouble sleeping. He wakes up, he goes to bed between 7.30 and 8, and he wakes up like at 12, 1, 2, 3, oh, we're working on sleep. So he's going to be in our room in his little bassinet. I've showed this to you guys many times. This is his snoo. So he sleeps in here right next to the bed, but the doctor said at six months we should move him to the crib and he's probably going to sleep better. We'll see. I don't know. So when he wakes up around 4.30 or 5, I usually just let him lay here so he'll just stay quiet. And, <laughs> and so now he just woke up. So how was your nap? Would you guys consider that a nap or no? I do. My boyfriend doesn't because technically he wakes up like he's fully awake between 4.30 and 5, like looking at me. And then when I put him in the bed, he goes right back to sleep until now, which is like 6.45. But according to my boyfriend, he says, I don't think that's a nap. I think that's him just sleeping still. Let me know what you think down below. We're going to do breastfeeding. We're going to do diaper change. And then a little tummy time. I like to do tummy time with him in the morning, gets him ready for his morning nap. And we're going to have a good day. You're going to be six months soon. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of you were like, why do you have these mitts on? You guys, he scratches himself so bad. I leave them off as long as I can in the day. He actually doesn't wear them until bedtime because, you know, it's good for him to like learn to grasp things and have a strong grip. But just at night, we still use the mitts. All right, let's do some breast. All right. Zane is in his crib before we do some tummy time. Time to make my morning tea. I put this Manuka honey, which is supposed to be really good for you, full of antioxidants and all that good stuff. We got it from Costco. My collagen peptides. I show you this tea and how I think it helped me not get stretch marks during pregnancy in the stretch mark video. I just don't know if that's up yet. But anyways, morning tea time. We have our electric kettle. I'm building a little bar. I got this for 40 bucks um, from Costco. Costco has some great deals on wine and liquor. So I'm trying to build a nice little bar. I want to get like one top shelf of everything. And then my boyfriend joined some wine club where you get four bottles for 40 bucks. I think that was just an introductory thing though. Because after that... I believe it's $25 a bottle, but I think it's called Bright Cellars. Not sponsored, but we like wine, so I don't think we're going to keep the subscription, though, because we don't drink that much wine, so <laughs> can you guys hear Zane? He's just in his crib talking to himself, so I'm going to make my tea, and we're going to do some tummy time. All right, morning tea is done, little man. Are you ready to read? Ready to do some tummy time? He's had all his milk. I I told you guys this. I do not like this crib sheet. It came in a set. And I really liked the yellow one. But this one. So I don't know if I'm going to donate it. Or what. I don't like it. I don't know. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of like earth tones. Okay. Tummy time. Mommy's got her tea. Let's do some tummy time. By the way. I got my. He's so interested in food. We are not on solids yet. We're going to start in two weeks when he's six months. Got my nails done yesterday. Why won't my camera focus? I love them. I just started getting my nails done professionally again, guys. Um, I used, You guys know I loved clip-on nails for years. I want to say like the last four years. But I just got tired of them after years. I just got tired of them flipping off. It's so easy. You just glue it back on. So much more affordable. It's like six bucks a week with clip-ons. This was $50. And it yes, it will last like two, maybe three weeks. But I'm like, gosh. But I really like it. It's really pretty. And I got a pedicure too. Okay. Ready? I find these a lot more efficient as a mama. Like, I just can't have nails popping off all the time. It's just annoying. Especially with him. I'll, like, try to touch him to change his diaper and a nail flies in his face. We just can't. We can't have that, can we, Zane? No. All right. Let's, let's do some reading. This is the current book we're reading. 
I'm like obsessed with Costco, you guys. If I don't even know who I am. Like I used to go into Costco maybe twice a year. Now I look forward to going to Costco like twice a month. It's a really interesting book. I feel like even older kids would like this. It just has everything in it. Like dinosaurs, space, weather, history, waterways, like everything. I'm learning a lot. I mean, he has no idea what I'm saying, but it's really good to develop his language skills. So I read and talk to him all day. Like it gets to the point where I literally feel guilty that I'm not talking to him sometimes, but I'm like, I will lose my breath, it, lose my breath, lose my voice if I keep talking. But if I can find this online, I'll link it down below. I love this book. He likes me reading to him and I just like learning about all this cool stuff. I just realized, I don't think I've shown you guys me today. Hello, here I am. Hi, babe. <laughs> All right, reading time. We're going to start with reading about primates. We usually do tummy time for as long as he'll go. Like right now at five and a half months in one sitting, he'll probably do like 20 minutes. Like that's good. I try to do at least 10 at a time and we try to do it for like 40 minutes a day. We do it as much as possible. That's what his pediatrician said. But I think we're going to try to go for 20. So we do double team. Double team. Oh, good bird. While he does tummy time, I get some reading time in with him. Are you having fun doing some tummy time? He likes to look at himself now. Coco's in the kitchen eating. I can hear him. Are you having fun doing some tummy time, bud? He still has a little bit of eczema. Poor guy. It's getting much better, though. Much, much better. Tummy, tummy, tummy time. Oh, my God. I'm aging myself. If you know that song, comment down below. Let's sit back in and unwind. Hey, sit back in and unwind. Mommy's losing it. Mommy's losing it, huh? All right, we're now in my very messy office. Well, we've been in the office. It's 9.56, you can't see that really. He slept for about 40 minutes, this kid. I don't know, his sleeping is just not the best. I mean, 40 minutes isn't bad, it just, I don't know, you expect a five month old to nap a little bit more, but he'll nap a couple more times today. There was one time for like a week where he napped for two hours at a time, that was amazing. It's just so cute to watch him like explore new things because when I first got this mat for him I got it on Amazon I'll link it down below he could not reach those little things and now he's just like grabbing them and playing with them he could only kick the little those play numbers sounds those little tiles you can kick them and then as he gets older you transform it and you can actually carry it around it plays the most annoying sounds I'm gonna warn you now it does songs and the songs are just awful but it does numbers, animals, things like that. So it's just so cool that this is like the first time. Yeah, this is the first time he's like grabbing these things and touching them. It's really good for him to do that, to uh, work on his fine motor skills and everything. So that's cool. So that was the chair that he was in. Don't mind all this mess, friends. If you know the reselling channel, you know I resell everything on Amazon, eBay, Poshmark. I always link the channel down below. So that's like inventory over there, inventory over there, my thermal print, it's just stuff everywhere. Inventory in the closet. But this little guy's hanging out. While he's chill, I'm gonna get some work done. All right, friends. I don't think you can see me that well because of the sun. We're running errands, we're at the grocery store, I went to the post office, dry cleaners, little guy is asleep back there. I want to make, I'll show you later today, a crock pot recipe and then this recipe from a cookbook and I just need a couple things. So 
Can I get the stroller out? It's such an ordeal. I never realized until I had a baby. Like, I used to take for granted just running in and out of the store. But with him, one time I tried to carry him in the store, you guys, while carrying a basket. It was comical. I was dropping stuff. I looked crazy. So I'm not taking him in the store anymore unless I take his stroller. Um, I don't bring him to the store very often. I think this might be like his third time coming to the grocery store with me in five months. But here we go. Alright, lunchtime. Little man is still asleep and it's 1248, so that's great. That's just the kind of nap I was talking about. Here's my lunch. No meat. Salad has jalapeno stuffed olives, carrots, radish, uh, not radish, red cabbage, vegan cheese. This was a little bit expensive. This was like eight bucks, but it's dairy free. I want to try it. Eating healthy, you guys. Is, uh, I mean, I don't know, is any salad dressing really healthy? I guess you can't use that much. And this is what I'm making in the slow cooker. So we have our last little bit of beef left. If you're new around here, I don't like eating beef. Before I got pregnant, I ate beef or red meat, period, maybe like twice a year. But an acupuncturist told me that I should eat it once a month around my period time. So I did that for a year and that did help with my energy levels. But during pregnancy, I tried to eat it once a week, it didn't happen. I'd eat it like twice a month. So we had some in our freezer. This is the last bit. Neither of us really eat red meat very often. So here's the recipe if you wanna screenshot it. I just Googled slow cooker beef recipe. Here's what it looks like. Looks pretty gross right now. Um, it didn't call for potatoes, but we had potatoes that I just wanted to use. And that white stuff is cornstarch. So I'm going to cook it for five hours and I'll let you know how that goes. This is going to take us forever to eat because we don't, like I said, how many times can I say it? We don't eat red meat very often. So I feel like it takes us two weeks to finish a red meat dish, but I'll let you know how this is later on. All right, let's talk about some products that were sent to me in PR. I'm dying laughing because I literally have false lashes on the kitchen counter. That's all good. <laughs> So first up, Fresh was nice enough to send me their Mango Hydrating Lip Balm. I love the formula of this. I'm not the biggest fan of the packaging. You guys know I always keep it real with you. I tell you whether I love something or not. I don't like lip balms that you have to like use your finger to get it out because it's in this tub. Hold on. This is hard doing it one-handed. Let me open it. So like middle school Nikki would have been all about sticking her dirty fingers in there, but... Post pandemic, I've literally become a germaphobe. So what I actually, actually pre-pandemic, when I've used this years ago, I'm pretty sure I showed this to you guys on my channel like two years ago. I like the formula so much that what I'll do is I'll actually just apply it directly to my lips from this tube. So I just put the tube of the stuff on my lips and then when it gets like down to the bottom, I have little scoopers from like my skincare products that I don't use, like for moisturizers and stuff. How many times can I say like? Those lashes are cracking me up. Um, and I use it. It smells, oh my God, you guys. It smells so good. It's not overwhelming or smelling like super synthetic-y. I mean, of course, I don't know. It just genuinely smells like a mango fruit. I know it's synthetic because it's a lip balm, but it doesn't smell like it. I really like the formula. So thanks to Fresh for sending this to me. You guys, I keep telling you guys I'm going to do a one um, brand video on Fresh, but I think the video would be like an hour long, you guys. I've been using Fresh, specifically their skincare, for so many years that I could probably review like, all, I don't know, like 30 products. So if you guys are still interested in seeing that, let me know. And then we have Ipsy. If you've seen any of my recent Ipsy videos, you know that I was recently put on their PR list. So this is also something I got in PR. And let's see what we have here. Um, the lighting in this kitchen is a mess. I love this kitchen. It's big, All everything's brand new, all new appliances. But I mean, I always tell you guys this because this place is so big, 
it needs more light and they really didn't put a lot of light so we should have honestly put more light in here but we might be moving soon anyway so I'm not gonna do too much so excuse the bad lighting Ooh, a Fenty product in Ipsy that's nice what is this let me open some of this up you guys because it's hard to do one-handed I'll be right back Okay, so this is an eyeliner. I haven't tried a new Fenty product in so long, you guys. This is, I really like the, the packaging. Is this considered holographic? Really cute. I'm gonna give that a try. We have the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I remember when this first came out, everybody was talking about it. If you've tried this, let me know in the comments down below. We have a Kinship. Um, this is a SPF of 32, which is not enough. I like SPFs of 80 or more, usually 100. But that's cool, it's a little tester size. We have a complex culture brush. Let me open this up. Looks like this is a little crease brush, very nice. And then in here, so I think in the PR box, what they do is they give us like a combo of Ipsy Plus and the normal Ipsy. I cannot do anything one-handed, hang on friends. All right, and here is what was in that little bag. We have the gold Fadden, I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, cleanser, the Olaplex, what is this? I think it's a shampoo, Avant Collagen Primer. We have a Tarte Juicy Lip, and then Anastasia. I can't open this, guys. I'm struggling. This was a little bit of a failed unboxing. <laughs> Not failed, but it's a mess. So thanks, Ipsy, for sending all this to me, and I love um, the bag, really pretty, very springy. I'm slowly coming around to florals. I like this bag a lot. All right, baby's awake. I've got the Roomba going. It's so much work. It's more work than I realized to use this thing because, well, I guess it's just me. I like to clear everything out of the living room. So I move a lot of stuff out of the way so it can really clean. I thought these things were stupid until my boyfriend bought this. I really like it. It picks up a lot of crap, you guys. And it just makes vacuuming effortless. I feel like you still need, God, this is such like a mom, work from home woman, or man thing I don't know it's just like does anyone really care but my quick review on the Roomba I like it it really is effective at picking a lot of stuff up off the floor I do think you still need you still need something to like I like to vacuum I take all the um, comforters off comforters pillows and go inside the couch so I need like a handheld vacuum still but this thing's pretty awesome I mean when you clean it out it's kind of gross to see like all the stuff it picks This thing is so annoying, but it's good for him. But is that funny? Is that funny? Bye, bye, bye.